Hello everyone for TLM and today we are going to review Sana Safina's formal wear collection for the Eid 2016 as a lot of brands are coming up with Eid collections so they all are coming up with formal collections Sana Safina's is a very popular brand and most of the people are aware of its quality and um, designing so I'll just do a quick review of Sana Safina's uh, formal luxury a collection 2016 for ETH and let's open the first bag and see what's there inside it what all goodies they come in this bag so the first design is 2A let's open the bag I have to do this with one hand as I have a camera in the other one uh, let's see what does the card says. Uh, it says net shirt with embroidery, net plain shirt back, net sleeves with embroidery, 100% pure crinkle chiffon dupatta, cotton dyed silver, slip fabric for lining and cotton printed front back cuff borders with woven lace 1 meter. So let's have a quick review of what all comes in this design and this is the stitching style they have given. The model is wearing a long net overcoat with straight pants. Uh, they boot cut, fitted um, till thigh and there's a boot cut, A line. So first thing we see in the bag is the cotton printed front back cuff border they're talking about. This is what it is. It's in lawn. And what comes next is the, I think, woven lace they were talking about. One meter woven lace. And what comes next is the net. It's the net shirt back, which is plain, which is absolutely plain with no work. And um, net, everyone is aware of what net is. You know, it's a yarn which is uh, kind of knotted at intersections. And um, what's um, very good about this net is that it's very, very flowy. It's the soft net, pliable, you know. And especially with women, um, those who are a little on the heavier side would uh, really like something which sticks with the body, you know, the way um, the flowy material, georgette, chiffon, crepe. It drapes. So this is a drapey material. Drapey net, not the stiff one. Very nice, very smooth, very soft. And what comes next in this bag is the net shirt front with embroidery. You can look at the colors. They are actually what they have shown um, on the catalog picture. Embroidery is very fine. You can see the finishing is good because at times you see the threads coming out or you know the thread is not broken between the two motifs. So it's neat embroidery, very fine knit, fine embroidery, 10 on 10. And then what comes next? It's the 100% pure crinkle chiffon dupatta. And it is very well designed. You have the geometricals, you have the florals and they have given a nice bright border nothing much to be done and then you have the plain dyed lower silver whatever you want to get it stitched and then there is a sleeve material and then we have this fabric for the lining. The lining material is also very nice compared to the Indian lining we have. You know this is far superior than the wool linings we use. So this design was 2A. Very nicely designed. Nice color combinations. Exactly the same what they've shown on the catalog picture. And stitching styles can be different from what they have shown on the picture. I mean, this is a very nice design, they have shown it, but for those who want to go for something, um, you know, which they can wear in and out, they can go for straight cut, um, you know, um, kurta, knee length, shots are really in. 
So knee length is a kind of a very versatile um, length which goes on. It would look give a very rich um, look. It this embroidery actually looks like you know the Ari work you have from Kashmir. So it will come out to be very elegant. You can get it stitched in a kurta style with a straight pajami, uh, straight pajami pant I would say because um, generally women these days they don't prefer too much of um, you know the gatherings on the churida. Straight um, pajami and a very elegant kurta fit would look very nice on this as well and you can always go for a jacket style since it looks more like an Ari work you can uh, go for a jacket style with straight pants or straight um, churidar and that would, go, that would come out very nice as well so we finished reviewing one um, piece which had knit in it so most of the pieces would have the same quality so we'll just pick up something different with a different material. This is design number 3A. 3B is also there. Let's do 3A. I'm very fond of pinks. So being biased towards a pink design, this is 3A. Let me open it. Again, the same problem. I have to do it with one hand. Let's take out the card first. It says woven knit jackwad front with embroidery, woven knit jackwad back with embroidery, woven knit jackwad sleeves with embroidery. Too much of embroidery in this piece. 100% pure crinkle chiffon, the patta, cotton printed silver, and they have satin printed front back cuff borders with woven lace. Now, first comes first. Yes, last uh, piece we did was with the lawn. We had the same thing, a uh, front back cuff border in lawn. This is in satin. I'll just zoom in. Material is different. This is satin. Last piece it was lawn. It's more flowy and it will give a more formal look with all the bright shades. And then what comes next is the woven lace. It's very similar to the last piece, but this is more in antique and that was more golden. And then we have a woven jackwad. I think these are the sleeves. Yes, these are the sleeves. Woven jackwad sleeves. Now we did uh, review the net by Sana Safinas. This is the woven jackwad. For those who want to know what uh, net jackwood is, net jackwood is this in this catalog. This is net jackwood. So I would rather say this is a kind of a stuff you can wear in winters too. You know, it's all season. It's all season. It's not only for summers, and it gives that uh, rich look of jamawar. These are the sleeves. This is again 100% pure crinkle chiffon dupatta. They have repeated the border here and it's a floral dupatta. Very nice colors. Very nice shades of pink. I really love this thing, you know, uh, from white to pink and then going to dark crimson, merlot color, and different shades of pink, and then this Rajasthani look coming up with it, you know. It reminds me of that, all the colors used in bright Pandani Dupattas. And what comes next is the back, jackwad woven back. This is embroidered, you can see, as well. Why I generally open the piece um, right in front of you people is that so that it's not a biased kind of a review. We just open it randomly right in front of you. We don't open the pieces beforehand and, uh, you know, be very biased with a particular design. This is the back. This 
this is the back this motor would come on your back upper back and then we have the front Rapport embroidery this is it So for those who do not want um, this kind of a stitching style, which of course is very lovely and very smart, um, fond of this style, it's very nice. They can even go for a plain shirt. I mean, they don't have to use a divider in between. If they don't want this um, shirt to be cut around here, if the tailor does it, it would be here in between. So if you don't want it, you can go as it is. I'll just zoom out. You know, it's a beautiful piece. You can go for a simple, straight, short um, knee length or below knees. Long length, somehow, I don't recommend these days. And they don't look very smart. With a straight pajami, it would look very nice. And if you go with the plazo, it will become more formal and will give a more formal look. Yeah, for a short knee length shirt with plazo also would look good. And uh, the bottoms are the printed lawn bottom you can even use um, this shade of lower of a flowy material to make it look even more formal um, it would come out to be very nice and you can have a bottom stitched with pants or straight pajami or a straight pant with this and um, it would look very nice uh, for your daily wear I mean not daily wear but semi formal wear but if you want to make it more formal uh, because it has a very rich uh, textured uh, cloth which look, gives a jama or um, look and the embroidery is very fine very thick very intricate all filled with embroidery sleeves are embroidered back is embroidered you can go for a pure uh, crepe plazo or a sharara and it will come out to be a very formal dress so in all um, all pieces would be the same we've reviewed two and uh, they are with just two kind of materials most of them with jacquard front uh, with embroidery so you know what jacquard is now or with um, net embroidery so we've reviewed both the um, materials um, in Zana Safina's uh, luxury formal collection 2016 so bye for now let's see what comes up next bye